So I've been laser focused since a pretty early age on the question of AGI, artificial general intelligence. And what I mean by AGI is basically a system that can do anything a human can do at human or superhuman level. The real problem of AGI is not how to build it. It is how to control it. Humanity will no longer be the only or even the most intelligent species on the planet. And everything will change. And if we don't control them, then the future will belong to them, not to us. Well, can we build AIs that do care? And my answer is, yeah, probably. I don't see why not. And the simple fact is that we have no idea how to do this. While there are hundreds of thousands and billions of dollars working on accelerating and improving these systems as fast and as quickly as possible, the risk that we face, unprecedented in all of history, does not come from AGI, because AGI isn't real yet. The risk comes from us, humanity. We are the ones building this technology. There is a small, small percentage of the people living on this planet who are building this technology, despite they themselves admitting to the extreme risks that come along with building such technology before we have developed the correct methods to control and understand these systems. But they, are, they find themselves, in, at least when you ask them about this, in this crazy multi-way standoff where every person says, well, I wish we could slow down and we could like, you know, get this regulated or something, but, I, but the others are doing it and they're worse than me, so therefore I have to build it. And all these companies have said this. I've talked to the heads of all of these labs, everyone says this. Everyone agrees that yeah, it would be way better if we could just slow down and be more careful about this, work more on safety, but we're in a prisoner's dilemma and everyone's pulling the defect button. We are in this bizarre death race towards a precipice. And we're all along for the ride, whether we want it or not. Driven by a very small number of very large companies that are pushing the frontier of larger and larger models, more and more autonomous systems. There is good news. And the good news is that it doesn't have to be like this. The good news is, is that we can do better. We can stop this. We can take control of the future, build the governance, the regulation, the society, the institutions necessary to have a careful, deliberate stewardship of this powerful technology into a good future. When I was invited to give this talk, the organizers quite helpfully uh, suggested that I should name this talk The Nightmare but I politely declined. Because a nightmare implies you can wake up from it. This is not a nightmare. This is not a dream. It is the future that we face. Now, I don't know how to save the world, but damn it, I'm gonna try. And I hope you join me in it. Thank you.